Dave here at the Silver Diamond the Homestead. And uh, have you ever seen high price plants on eBay and uh, worried about not being able to get them shipped uh, or packaged right and, and them getting from point A to point B? Well, this is uh, something I struggled with for a couple of years till I come up with pretty much the perfect uh, plant packing system. And this is a pepper plant. It's not a woody plant. It needs a little, you know, it, it, it will break. But first of all, when we start doing this, we want to put our fans in the greenhouse to toughen our grow room to toughen them up a little bit. And uh, this will help them on the way. Also, we need to choose a perfect size box. Now, these are four inch pots. So four, four, uh, we got a little extra inch wiggle room. We chose a nine by nine to ship four of these plants in. Next, we'll cut a piece of cardboard, just a perfect uh, fit inside this box to keep these plants from uh, being mobile. Now, first thing you want to do, and I've already added this, but cut your little cardboard circle to notch around the plants take this guy I put two or three pieces just to hold that cardboard in place and keep that uh, plant from moving after that Turn it upside down, it's not going to hurt it. Next thing we want to do, we want to get this uh, wrapped up, wrapped around. So we took the cardboard, wrapped it around here, perfect measurement. And then we got a piece of tape and we'll tape to the cardboard and the pot. And this, once we get it wrapped around there, this plant is immobile. Be careful with these leaves and just tuck them under there. Nice and snug. Another piece of tape. Now, if something happens and it falls upside down, no big deal. Don't hurt them one bit. And what I like to do also, just to make this bottom a little bit smaller than the pot where there's no possible way it can crawl up there, here it hits the bottom of that pot too. Finally, just to keep that water from leaking out, I'll put this down inside a, uh, and it also helps hold the mo uh, moisture while it's in transit. I don't pull it all the way up as you can see, because I want there to be some air in there. And look. Uh, look how tight them things are. I mean, I can turn it upside down now and it, it's, Nothing's going to happen. Now, carefully fold that over the top. Tape it up. Put you some arrows on it. This thing's ready to ship. And it's uh, at about a 90% chance this is going to get there in exactly the way you sent it. And um, I've sold a lot on eBay uh, using this method and I always get real high comments and, uh, and real good uh, likes and, and that's one good way to get boost up your um, reputation on eBay and that's about all I got for this video guys this should uh, help widen your customers and the person that bought these is down in Texas and uh, Right now, no way we could plant these outside. It would be too cold here in Kentucky. But thank you, guys.